What is going on, everyone? Dare I say the Houston Texans have an elite secondary in 2023. Let's not forget last year, although this defense was absolutely atrocious and running backs were having 150 yards a day, it was very hard to pass and score through the air against this Houston Texans secondary, which started with Derek Stingley, who you drafted number three overall, Steven Nelson, who you just signed from the Philadelphia Eagles, your two safeties were Jalen Petrie, who you took in the second round, and Jonathan Owens, who after four years or three years finally made the 53-man roster, Desmond King, Tavier Thomas, Traymond Smith, they were sprinkled in there. And over the course, when Derek Stingley got hurt and Steven Nelson had to move from cornerback two to cornerback one, the play throughout the entire group did not go down over the course of last year. This Houston Texans secondary was the bright spot of the Houston Texans D. But before we get into that, guys, welcome everyone to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calavillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content. Follow me on Twitter at 713 HSP. Now, this Houston Texans secondary would be led by new free agent edition Jimmy Ward. And I have to say, after hearing what he said to the media a couple of days ago, it gets me much more excited for D'Amico Ryans and I'm much more excited for this defense, right? When he talked about D'Amico Ryans, he said, it doesn't matter if you're an all pro or not, he is going to call you out if you mess up. Now, my reaction to hearing that is, that is fantastic. It doesn't matter what type of player you are. It doesn't matter how many millions in your bank account. If you mess up, my head coach is going to make you accountable. And this is just a totally different, you know, mindset than what it was last year, right? Last year, we felt like there was no accountability here. D'Amico Ryan is going to let you know right off the bat, if you mess up, I am going to let you know. He also said that when Robert Sala left to coach the New York Jets, right? D'Amico Ryan did have some shoes to fill, but he said that the defense was much more better with D'Amico Ryan than what it was with Robert Sala when he left to the New York Jets. That gets me even more excited for this Houston Texans D, Jimmy Ward is not only going to be the leader in this secondary, but the leader of the entire defense. I cannot wait to see him ball out on NRG. His partner in crime will be Jalen Petrie, who I'm going to say it right now, is going to have an all-pro season this year. He had almost, he had over 100 tackles last year, five interceptions. He was a ball hawk. He got better as the season went on. He also had a stint where he just couldn't make a tackle, but he cleaned that up right away Jalen Petrie is going to be a star in the NFL he should have won defensive rookie of the league of the year last year however I have no doubt Jalen Petrie is going to make his name in the NFL this year now the two starting corners or three if you think the Houston Texans are going to um are going to throw out their slot but your cornerback number one is Derek Stingley who you took number three overall last year can he stay healthy and not only that can he be the number one corner we expect him to be in this new D'Amico Ryan's defense leave him on an island you follow the best wide receiver on the opposing team and you shut them down that is going to be the job for Derek Stingley this year and a lot of us I'm not gonna lie have an eye on number 24 are we going to see the guy who we took over sauce the guy who we knew in just one freshman year was so special that we took him over the 2022 NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year. All eyes will be on Derek Stingley. The cornerback number two will be Steven Nelson, who just did a fantastic job last year. When we signed him, let's not forget, we knew he was a... He was a number two corner, low end number one. And when Derek Stingley got injured, he stepped into that number one cornerback role and he took it away. Steven Nelson did a fantastic job last year for the Houston Texans. This is another player who I expect to just blossom under new head coach D'Amico Ryans, right? The swarm mentality that this whole defense is going to have. I am excited to see in NRG. Then you throw in 
the sprinkles, right? Desmond King, can he get back to his Pro Bowl, All Pro level? Now in his third season with the Houston Texans, overall, I think the secondary is going to be the best unit for this Texans D this year. However, you guys let me know how you feel. Go Houston Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.